It's showtime. Hey everyone, Django Fett here, Honey Down Games, Comics, TV shows, movies, and more. And this is a review for the Star Wars Bounty Hunter Wars trilogy. So these books came out back in 1998 to 1999. It was quite a short time period and was written by K.W. Jeter. And interestingly enough, the first to coin the term steampunk and made some of the very first uh, steampunk novels, which was pretty cool. So this is my first time ever experiencing this trilogy and it consists of the Mandalorian War, Slave Ship, and Hard Merchandise. And this will be a non-spoiler review. And I already did full-on spoilers discussing with my friend General CJG on uh, the State of Star Wars YouTube channel. So if you want to check out that, talk about each of, the, each of the books in the trilogy, I'll put links for those videos in the description down below. Now these novels take place zero years after the Battle of Yavin and four years after the Battle of Yavin and takes place in the present time, which consists of 4 ABY, days after the battle at Jabba's palace, with Boba Fett narrowly getting out of the Sarlacc pit, and aided by his fellow bounty hunter, Dengar, and a mysterious girl named Neela, who feels somewhat connected to Boba Fett, but doesn't know why. And also switches to flashbacks um, from past events at 0 ABY on Boba Fett's adventures, and setting up the present and running into a whole host of characters, including Zuckus, Bosk, and even Prince Zizor. And I thought Prince Zizor was just a Shadows of the Empire character and that's it. But no, I mean, he was in this story in the past events, um, which was pretty cool. And I have to say, each book is well paced and develops the characters, including Boba Fett, very well and gets them done perfectly. And especially the flashback scenes, this is in the level of Dawn of the Jedi Into the Void, which was just fucking horrendous. One of the worst stories to ever have <laughs> flashbacks. No, this one is the total opposite and it's done perfectly. And also, I don't know how you can screw up Boba Fett. In the past Blood Tie stories, they did screw him up in a few moments. I mean, just like one or two moments. But still, that is something that really holds it back. And it's not really hard to get Boba Fett wrong. I mean, in this trilogy, it really shows how smart and conniving and um, cunning of a character Boba Fett is. And he's not just all bronze and then that's it. No, there is more to it than that. And this trilogy shows that. I mean, there is a lot that happens in this trilogy. And because it's a non-spoilers, I cannot discuss it. But it revolves around Boba and even Neela that keeps you into it the whole way through. And it has a few villains that get into Boba Fett's way and they learn the hard way not to mess with him. So I'll keep it short and sweet and give the Bounty Hunter Wars trilogy a... Just a fantastic trilogy that you must experience for yourself. And even if you're a Legends or non-Legends fan, you just have to experience this, especially considering this is right after uh, what happened to Boba Fett in Return of the Jedi and how we recovered from that point and his adventures from that point on and even his past events too. So the Book of Boba Fett is here. So once that series is over, so I'll be sure to work on a few videos associated with the Book of Boba Fett. I'll do a non-spoiler vi video. That's going to be a first one. And then I'm going to be doing full on spoilers discussion on every single episode. So uh, I'm planning to do that and might do some stuff on the State of Star Wars YouTube channel discussing each episode as well. And since 2021 is over, I'll be sure to do some top 5, top 10 lists as well when I get a chance. And I will also give a formal announcement on what to expect for 2022. Big things for sure. Please be sure to like this video, comment down below if you've read the Bounty Hunter Wars a trilogy in the comment section below or you're interested in the comment section below as well and subscribe to my channel Django Fett and I'll see you my fellow Mandarin, my brothers and sisters next time. Ooh, yeah!